You're listening to the Christian Post Daily Podcast. Today is Wednesday, July 3rd. Top U.S. middle distance runner Nikki Hiltz has secured a spot in the Paris Olympics after winning the women's 1500 meter race at the U.S. Olympic Trials. Hiltz, a 29-year-old who identifies as transgender and non-binary, clinched first place with the second fastest time ever recorded by an American in the trials. Celebrating the victory, Hiltz expressed, quote, This is bigger than just me. It's the last day of Pride Month. I wanted to run this one for my community. Emily McKay and L. St. Pierre finished second and third, respectively, also qualifying for the Paris Games. Hiltz has openly shared their journey of gender identity, emphasizing the inclusivity and respect found in sports. President Joe Biden's remark during the first 2024 presidential debate claiming no U.S. troops were killed overseas during his tenure has ignited outrage among Gold Star families. Moderated by CNN hosts Dana Bash and Jake Tapper, the debate included a heated exchange on foreign policy, where Biden contrasted his record with former President Donald Trump. Biden asserted he is the, quote, only president this century without overseas troop casualties. This sparked criticism, particularly from families of the 13 U.S. service members killed in the 2021 Kabul airport bombing. Mark Schmitz, father of Marine Corporal Jared Schmitz, expressed feeling utter shock and disrespect, while Steve Nikoi, father of Marine Lance Corporal Kareem Nikoi, accused Biden of dishonoring their sacrifice. The White House responded, emphasizing Biden's deep care for service members and their families. The Israel Defense Forces have uncovered documents during their ongoing military operation in Gaza that allegedly outline Hamas's detailed plans for the October 7 attack on southern Israel, which included instructions for the abduction of soldiers and the creation of live footage of the assault. Published by Israel Hayom and the German newspaper Bild, the documents reveal Hamas's long-term strategy to conquer Israeli border communities and incite Gazan civilians to join the assault. The attack, led by Hamas's elite Nukba forces, was marked by precise and efficient execution, suggesting it was meticulously planned. Despite claims by Hamas leader Yaha Sinwar that the atrocities were unintentional, additional documents indicate a coordinated effort to maximize human losses and take hostages. The revelations highlight the extent of the premeditated nature of the attack involving multiple waves of combatants including Gazan civilians, motivated by incitement from Hamas leadership. The U.S. Supreme Court is set to determine if Texas can force pornographic websites to verify users' ages without infringing on free speech. This follows Texas Governor Greg Abbott's signing of House Bill 1181 requiring age verification, with violations incurring fines up to $10,000 daily. The Free Speech Coalition challenged this, but in March, the Fifth Circuit Court upheld the law, stating it's, quote, rationally related to the government's legitimate interest in preventing minors' access to pornography. Judge Jerry E. Smith supported the decision, citing the harm to children, while Judge Patrick E. Higginbotham warned it limits constitutionally protected speech. Pornhub criticized the law as ineffective and detrimental to adult rights. The Supreme Court previously declined to block the law's enforcement during ongoing legal proceedings. A Pakistani court has sentenced 28-year-old Christian man Isan Shan Masih to death for reposting blasphemous content on social media, sparking severe mob attacks on Christians in Jaranwala, Punjab province last August, according to the Associated Press. Masih's lawyer, Kuram Shahzad, declared plans to appeal the religiously motivated and biased judgment, which also includes a 22-year prison sentence and a 1 million fine. Nasir Saeed of Class UK condemned the verdict, saying, quote, A young Christian has been scapegoated. Despite no casualties during the violence, it incited flight from homes and widespread fear within the Christian community. Local priest Navid Kashif expressed dismay at the severe sentence, emphasizing the apparent lack of action against those directly involved in the attacks. In response to consumer backlash, Tractor Supply Co. is shifting away from LGBT and progressive causes, announcing it will focus more on activities aligned with its core business and customer values. The retailer stated, quote, We have heard from customers that we have disappointed them, adding that it would no longer submit data to the Human Rights Campaign, a pro-LGBT organization. The company aims to emphasize rural America priorities, including agricultural education and veteran causes, and will stop sponsoring activities like Pride Festivals. Conservative influencer Robbie Starbucks' social media post criticizing the company's woke priorities sparked significant discussion. 
ultimately leading him to celebrate the policy reversal as, quote, the most dramatic policy reversal I've ever seen. In Eugene, Oregon, Sidney McLaughlin Levrone set a new world record in the women's 400-meter hurdles during the U.S. Olympic team trials, clocking in at 50.65 seconds. Declaring that anything is possible in Christ, Lavrone praised God for her achievement, describing herself as amazed, baffled, and in shock. This victory secures her spot at the upcoming Summer Olympic Games in Paris. Known for her strong Christian faith, Lavrone has consistently credited God for her successes, quoting Hebrews 4.16 and stating, quote, praise his name. Her fiancé, former football player Andre Lavrone, is also a key figure in her support system. Emphasizing her faith, she remarked, quote, the one thing that's unchanging is my faith in Christ, and that is the most valuable thing. Thank you for listening to the Christian Post Daily Podcast. We encourage you to follow the show in your podcast player of choice, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or third-party podcast players like Overcast and Pocket Casts. You can also download the Edify app for free and listen to all the podcasts on the Edify network by clicking the link in today's podcast show notes. We would also appreciate a five-star rating in Apple Podcasts and Spotify to help us reach a wider audience with the Christian Post Daily Podcast. You can also subscribe to our daily newsletter and get the top headlines delivered to your inbox by clicking that link in the show notes as well. Thank you again for listening to the Christian Post Daily Podcast. <laughs>